This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm so happy that Michelle wanted to share a special tribute to Olivia de Havilland this morning, and I can't think of a better person to do it. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Deb, and good morning to all our viewers. Lovers of Hollywood's golden age marked the passing of an icon this past week. Dame Olivia de Havilland, who left us at the age of 104, left an indelible imprint on the silver screen. Today, I want to look at her films that featured connections to Kansas. During her long career in Hollywood, Olivia de Havilland was cast along some of the industry's most recognizable and well-loved stars. Did you know that five of her films feature strong Kansas connections? Dodge City, released by Warner Brothers in 1939, is the first of Olivia's films connected to Kansas. Starring Errol Flynn as Wade Hatton, a buffalo hunter turned lawman, Olivia portrayed a high-spirited young woman named Abby Irving. The couple's relationship is set against the development of Dodge City and its reputation as a wild cattle town filled with loose women, hard-drinking men, and little law and order. By film's end, Wade and Abby overcome their differences and marry. The studio sent the film's stars on a train trip to Dodge City, Kansas for the premiere. Olivia, who was not able to make the entire trip, was part of the entourage for a short time. Dodge City rolled out the red carpet, and the film was a huge success. Perhaps Olivia's signature role came in 1939's blockbuster smash, Gone with the Wind. Paired with Clark Gable, Leslie Howard, and Vivian Lee, Olivia's sweet but strong Melanie won over moviegoers and critics alike. This would also be the first time Olivia was cast and appeared on screen with Wichita's Hattie McDaniel, who beat out Olivia for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress that year. In 1940, Olivia and Errol were once again paired for the historically challenged yet delightful Santa Fe Trail. Olivia portrayed Kit Holliday, the daughter of Cyrus K. Holliday, opposite Errol's Jeb Stewart. The film brought to life the pre-Civil War tumult in Kansas. Olivia and Errol were once again cast in what would be their final on-screen appearance together in 1941's They Died With Their Boots On. Errol portrayed the flamboyant, headstrong George Armstrong Custer to Olivia's level-headed, dutiful, and strong-willed Libby Custer. The film's final scene, when Libby sends George off to the Little Bighorn, is cinema magic. While the Custer's time in Kansas is not portrayed in the film, the Kansas connection is strong. And once again, Olivia shared witty dialogue in the film with Hattie McDaniel. 1942 marked Olivia's last film with a Kansas connection. In This Our Lives, cast Olivia with Betty Davis, Dennis Morgan, George Brent, and Hattie McDaniel. A story of love gone wrong, Olivia once again portrays a strong yet kind woman navigating love, loss, and family drama. Some of the film's most humorous and heartfelt exchanges are between Olivia and Hattie. By film's end, Olivia's character, Roy, rises above bitterness, listens to her conscience, and finds true love. Thank you, dearest Olivia, for sharing your gift with the world. We are better for having watched you grace the screen. I hope you enjoyed today's look at the life and the work of Olivia de Havilland and the connections to Kansas. And I hope you'll join me next time for another historical adventure somewhere around Kansas. Thank you for sharing your Wednesday morning with us. I'm Deb Goodrich, and I'll see you somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. These days, no one can afford to take the risk of being without financial protection against high health care costs, not even for a few days. Kansas Farm Bureau Health Plans offer short-term health care coverage to fill in those temporary gaps. Short-term health plans can provide you with medical coverage when you are between health plans, helping lower your potential financial risk. Learn more at kfbhealthplans.com or contact a Farm Bureau Financial Services agent near you.